the cumulative distribution the cumulative distribution function CDF of x is given by uh, f of so this is denoted by capital F f x x. So, f x x how we define actually f x x nothing but probability that x less than equal to s we have already known we have already discussed that whenever probability density function is given we can find the cumulative distribution function from this probability density function. So, this formula is nothing but minus infinity to, to plus x f x t d t. Now, this density function is 0. So, it is a this is b this is actually 0 whenever. So, whenever you are finding probability means you are finding area under this curve. Now, uh, whenever x is less than a, so this is area under there is density is 0. So, then this will be equal to 0 whenever x is less than a less than minus infinity. Now, whenever x is inside this interval a to b, then x is greater than equal to a less than b, then we will do the integration suppose somewhere here x is here. So, then uh, this is this area will be so the uh, minus magnitude to x f x t d t. So, how we will find that for for x is uh, greater than equal to a less than b this f x x will be nothing but minus magnitude to x f x t d t because it is 0 minus magnitude to a it is 0 it is nothing but a to x this because it is 0 outside this range. So, this is nothing but 1 by b minus a this value inside this interval is 1 by b minus a into d x. So, sorry d t. So, d t. So, then this is nothing but t if you take uh, this is 1 by b minus a uh, this t a to x if you take this limit this is x minus a by b minus a. So, this is nothing but x minus a by b minus a. Now, what will be whenever x is here? So, because x is here means you are you are doing integration over minus minus to x. So, minus minus to a this integration is 0 there is no density. Now, minus now a to b in, because it is a density function. So, uh, because we have solved this equation uh, then so uh, using this uh, b minus a. Uh, 1 by b minus a if you take then this integration will be 1 it is a density function. So, that is why whole area is nothing but basically this is the height 1 by b minus a this area is nothing but b minus a into b minus a this will be 1. So, it will be 1 and plus this b 2 x again no density this is 0. So, that is why this integration will be 1. So, the x greater than equal to any value less than infinity. So, if you do this analytically also this is nothing but f x x it is minus infinity to x uh, f x t d t. So, because it is greater than b you can divide it minus infinity to a f x t d t plus. So, let us do in the next slide. So, this is whenever x is uh, greater than b less than infinity. So, then uh, f x s is nothing but minus infinity to uh, x uh, f x t d t. This is nothing but minus infinity to a f x t d t plus integration a to b f x t d t plus uh, b to x because x is greater than equal to b uh, f x t d t. So, then uh, this is 0. So, that is why it is 0 because this function is 0 in this and here a to b this is nothing but 1 by b minus a d t plus again this value is 0. So, then uh, this integration will be 1 by b minus a and this is t limit uh, a to b. So, then this is nothing but b minus a by b minus a this is equal to 1. So, that is why this density distribution function is looks like this. Now, if you uh, draw this if you want to draw, draw this uh, uh, you want to show graphically this is suppose a to b and then uh, this distribution function suppose if you want to show graphically. So, it is minus infinity to a this is 0 and at b it is 1 suppose this is the 1. So, this is 1 now uh, then the uh, your this will be. So, this will nothing but this is the this will be this and then this. 
So, this is the f x x. So, this is the curve actually nothing but x minus a x minus a by p minus a. So, this is f x is equal to x minus a into b minus a inside this interval a to b. So, this is the cumulative distribution function of a continuous random variable. Now, we will learn how to find the mean and variance of this continuous random variable. So, the mean mu 1 dash we will find expected values of x, this is nothing but uh, by definition ma minus min to plus infinity x f x x fx x dx. So, how we can find that? So, because minus min to plus infinity it is not non-zero, outside this a t b it is 0. So, that is why x and f x x is nothing but 1 minus b by minus a a to b and dx. So, then this is nothing but 1 by b minus a, this is integration is x square by 2, it is limited a to b. So, this is nothing but uh, b square minus a square by 2 into b minus a. So, now if you sim simplify these things, it is nothing but b minus a into b plus a by 2 into b minus a. So, this is cancelled, this is nothing but a plus b by 2. So, this is the mean of this random variable. Now, if you want to find the variance, so variance we know that sigma square x for a continuous random variable, this is ex expected values beyond this whole square. So, that we can, we know that this simplification, we, we use this simplified formula mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. So, uh, now this mu 2 dash we have to find out. So, mu 2 dash is nothing but expected values of x square. So, this by formula it is nothing but minus mu 2 plus infinity is f x x square f x x d x. Again, since it is non-zero only a to b, so this is a to b x square and this value is b minus a d x. So, then this is nothing but my 1 by b minus a x cube by 3 and then limit equal to limit we have to use this is nothing but a to b. So, this is nothing but 1 by b minus a. Uh, b cube minus a cube by 3. So, then we can solve it on we can simplify it. It is nothing but b minus a b square plus a b plus a square by 3 into b minus a. So, this is cancelled. So, then we just find it uh, expected value mu 2 dash is nothing but mu 2 dash is nothing but expected values of x square. It is nothing but what we found b square plus a b plus a square b square plus a b plus a square by b square plus a b plus a square by 3, because uh, this a b minus a is cancelled, b minus a is cancelled b square plus a b plus a square by 3. Now, we want to find the variance. So, variance of x, so we denote by sigma square. So, this is nothing but mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. So, this is nothing but b square plus a b plus a square by 3 minus mu 1 dash, what is mu 1 dash? a plus b by 2 whole square. So, then uh, we just simplify these things. So, this is b square plus a b plus a square by 3 minus a plus b whole square. This is a square plus 2 a b plus b square by 4. So, then just we, uh, we just simplify this 12. This is 12 and then this is 4 b square plus 4 a b plus 4 a square a square minus 3 a square minus 6 a b minus 3 b square. So, then uh, we just what we got this is nothing but uh, b square minus 2 a b plus a square by 12. So, this is nothing but b minus a whole square by 12. So, this is the variance of the uh, uniform distribution. So, uh, these are the some of the properties we found that uh, probability density function, cumulative density function, then uh, cumulative uh, distribution function and also mean and variances of this uh, continuous random variable we found. So, what are the use of this random variable? Uh, this is the application. So, it represents a situation where all outcomes in a range are equally likely. So, we do not have any uh, preference or any kind of more uh, weightage we can give uh, like we do not know that that some portion is more possibilities than the other. So, in that case we uh, say that it is a uniform distribution. For example, position of a, a particular molecule in a room. 
So, position of a particular molecule, we do not know that any position is can be given in a uh, favorable, uh, favorable, we can favor it, any position. So, that is why it is a uniform. So, all are same. The point on a car tire where the next uh, puncture will occur. So, this is the car. So, where it will puncture, we do not know. So, then we consider it is a uniform distribution. Similarly, distance from the origin after throwing a dart to target on a board, we are throwing a dart on the target and the distance from the origin, we do not know where it will land. It will be, uh, uh, so if, if uh, someone is someone uh, specialist, then it may be very close to 0, then we can give more weightage close to 0, but in, in a random person, those we do not know, so anywhere it can land. So, then we say this, it will be a uniform distribution. So, let us do some numerical example that uh, can be utilized to uh, the concept of uniform distribution. Suppose, let if, if x is uniform distributed with mean 1, if, if x is uniformly, sorry, if x is uniformly distributed with mean 1 and and variance and variance uh, 4 by 3 variance 4 by 3 find probability of x less than 0. So, how we can do this solve this problem? So, it is already given it is uniform distributed. So, it will be uniformly distributed over a we, we do not like this uniform distribution over a interval a b. So, a is less than b. So, a and b is not given. Instead of that uniform distribution with mean 1 and variance 4 by 3. So, let let x having uniform distribution over a interval a b. Then we know that we know that what is the expected value of x mu 1 dash. This is nothing but we have already computed this value. This value is nothing but this is mu 1 dash it is a plus b by 2. So, mu 1 dash is nothing but a a plus b by 2. So, now uh, and also variance, variance also we know that variance is nothing but b minus a whole square by 12. So, this is given and variance sigma square x this is variance of x this is nothing but b minus a whole square by uh, 12, b minus a whole square by 12, we found that. Now, according to this problem, if x is uniformly distributed with mean 1 and variance 4 by 3, so this mean 1 and variance is nothing but 4 by 3. So, 2 equation, 2 unknown, so we got that a plus b is equal to 2, this is one equation and another is that uh, b minus a whole square by 12. So, 12 b this is nothing but 4 into 12. So, by 3. So, then this is nothing but 16. So, b minus a whole square is 16. So, b minus a can be a square root of 16, it is it can be plus minus 4, but because you are considering a is less than b, so it is positive. So, it is nothing but root over of 16 will consider as the positive 4. So, b minus a now found that it is 4. So, now this is equation 2. So, then now if you add uh, then we will get 2 b is equal to 6 if you add equation 1 and 2. So, then we will get b is equal to 3. Now, if you put uh, b is equal to 3 in one of the equation. So, then you can find that b is equal to from equation 1, 1 implies uh, b is equal to sorry a is equal to 2 minus b, a is equal to 2 minus b. So, 2 minus 3. So, this is nothing but minus 1. So, what we found that uh, x is uniformly distributed over a b where a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to 3. So, that is why b minus 1 it is coming 4. So, that is why two equations are satisfied. So, then find x is, is less than 0. So, how we can find that? So, this density function now we know f of x is equal to uh, because 1 by b minus a 1 by 4 uh, whenever x is greater than minus 1 or you can write less than greater than equal to less than equal to 3 and it is equal to 0 otherwise 0 otherwise. 
So, then how we can find the probability of x less than 0? So, it is asked that what is the probability x is less than 0. So, probability that x is less than 0, this is nothing but minus infinity to 0 f x x f x t d t. So, then uh, uh, because it is non-zero in inside this interval only, so this is nothing but minus 1 to 0 uh, f x t is 1 by 4 uh, this d x or d t. So, then this is nothing but 1 by 4 t limit is minus 1 to 0. So, then this is 0 minus 1 uh, minus 1 is uh, uh, 1. So, this is nothing but 1 by 4. So, this probability that x is, is less than 0 is nothing but 1 by 4. So, this is one numerical problem we can use uh, this uniform distribution. Now, so next we will discuss another problem. So, let us do one problem. So, uh, based on this uniform distribution, subway trains, subway train, subway trains on a certain on a on a certain line on a certain line run run every run every half every uh, half hour between half hour between midnight midnight and 6 in the and 6 in the morning 6 in the morning what is the probability what is the what is the probability that that a man that a man entering the station entering the station at random at a random entering the station at a random at a random time during this period during this period will have will have to wait will have to wait at least at least 20 minutes Twenty minutes, at least twenty minutes. So, at least twenty minutes. So, now, since uh, x is the random variable, uh, so the problem it is given here: subway trains on a certain line run every half hour between midnight and 6 in the morning. What is the probability that a man is entering the station at random time during this period, during this period. So, now during this period, during this period, uh, this person, so entering, then uh, any train can come because it is a half an hour, every half an hour it is coming. So, we do not know when it will come. So, that is why this kind of situation we do not know. So, that, uh, so that is why it is because the duration is the half an hour. So, x be the random variable, let x be the random variable, random variable, denote the random variable for the waiting time. waiting time for the train. 
Now, since under the assumption uh, because it is half an hour within half an hour it can come any time, so it is distributed. So, under the assumption x will be distributed uniform 0 to 30 because uh, by half an hour any time it can come. So, it is a uniform distribution. So, now uh, then the density function the probability density function we write pdf of x is given by f of x is nothing but 1 by 30 whenever x is 0 to 30 it is a is 0 b is 30 and it is 0 otherwise. So, this is the now question is that what is the uh, time during this period we will have to wait at least 20 minutes. So, then we have to find the probability that x will be greater than uh, 20, x will be greater than 20, x is greater than 20. So, this probability will is nothing but uh, integration 20 to, so now the upper limit is maximum 30 otherwise this density is 0 f x x d x. So, this is nothing but 20 to 30. Now, this is nothing but 1 by 30 dx. So, then this is nothing but 1 by 30 integration x uh, limit is 20 to 30. So, this is nothing but 10 by 3 0. So, this is nothing but 1 by 3. So, that is why the probability that the person has to wait uh, at least 20 minutes for the train it is nothing but 1 by 3. So, we just completed uh, that one continuous distribution function, it is nothing but the uniform distribution. So, next we will discuss more distribution like continuous distribution, some of the uh, important distribution, one of the that exponential distribution function, exponential, exponential distribution. So, random variable, so we will discuss uh, in the next we will discuss uh, the exponential distribution. Now, we will discuss another important continuous distribution it is called exponential distribution. A random variable x is called an exponential random variable with parameter lambda greater than 0 if its probability density function is given by uh, f of x is nothing but equal to lambda e to the power minus lambda x when x is greater than 0 and 0 whenever x is less than 0. So, so a random variable x is set to follow exponential distribution with with parameter lambda greater than 0. So, the, here also uh, like other distribution we discussed, here also one parameter it is lambda greater than 0, it is a real number. If, so it is a continuous distribution, so we we'll, we'll represent this, uh, re, we represent this distribution with probability density function. If the probability probability density function pdf is given by f of x x this is equal to lambda e to the power of minus lambda x whenever x is greater than 0 less than infinity and 0 otherwise. So, usually if you draw this curve probability density curve. So, for different values of lambda you will see that. So, this is x and this is f x x this looks like decreasing. So, <coughs> now how we can find the cumulative distribution function? The cumulative distribution function distribution function of 
So, it is called we abbreviate with CDF of A x is given by f of x x this is equal to. So, how we define? So, you can remember that this is nothing but probability x less than equal to x. So, it is defined by minus infinity to x f x t d t. Now, whenever you are integrating, see it is uh, you can see that this is always taking a positive number, it is density is non zero. So, that is why the area under the curve when x is less than 0, this will be 0. So, this is, is equal to 0 whenever x is less than 0, less than infinity. Now, whenever x is greater than 0 or you can say greater than equal to 0, less than infinity, this will be nothing but f x x will be for x is greater than 0. So, actually equal to 0 it, it will be 0. So, both the cases we will see that. So, that is why you can make here equality it is inequality like that. So, f x x is nothing but probability x less than equal to x which is nothing but minus infinity to x. So, f x t is defined by uh, lambda. So, it is actually uh, this basically this is the definition d t, but it is non zero when it is zero. So, 0 to x and then f x t is nothing but lambda e to the power of minus lambda t d t. So, this is equal to uh, how we can find that. So, e to the power. So, if we lambda is a constant. So, lambda then if you do the integration minus lambda t by minus lambda. So, then uh, then uh, then if you do so then this lambda cancelled here so this is minus is there so this is nothing but uh, at x it is the power minus lambda x at 0 this is e to the power of minus 0 1 so it will be e to the power of minus lambda x so it will be 1 minus e to the power of lambda x